Hey everybody, we're back to go ahead and finish this S3 Loca repair. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and apply the glue to the LCD. Um, we got our LCD right here. Let's go ahead and put it in the mold. Um, I use the mold. I find it a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner to do um, when you're reassembling the phone. You don't have any liquid adhesive inside of your frame of the device or anything that might short out on the back end. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and clean it here real fast with some isopropylene alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, not propylene. So it's not a, an extreme thing that you uh, get all the streaks off of the screen as the glue they're putting on will kind of get rid of the, the streak look. The goal is is that you make sure there's no dust on it. Um, and this takes a little bit of care. If you're not in a, a clean room, uh, you've got particles flying around, just make sure there's no big specks of dust on there. Uh, you don't want it to show up on your screen. So I'm going to use this microfiber cleaning cloth that I have here and the alcohol. Basically just go around and make sure that there's no residual glue left on the LCD. Um, or anything like that that might show up underneath. So make sure that it's a nice clean piece of, uh, of glass. We're going to clean the opposite side of the glass that I have as well. Um, I've had a few of these where I've taken off the backing or the front portion of the uh, covers and there's been dust behind it. So uh, either make sure you blow it off, uh, rub it down with a microfiber cloth, or clean it with some alcohol to make sure that there's nothing here um, <clears throat> that would cause a, a speck to show up on your glue or when it sets and you put under the UV light. So we have our piece of glass just right here. It's going to set it aside for now. It's going to go over my screen again and make sure there's no dust left on here or any residual glue, any tiny little specks will show up, so you want to make sure that you're pretty diligent in, in cleaning this. Now, whenever I repair a device for somebody, I always tell them, you, you broke your phone, so it probably won't be perfect again unless you buy a brand new display, um, but this usually is a, a more economical route than going than buying um, a brand new piece of uh, glass adhered to the LCD. I think they're like 135 bucks currently on eBay for this when I was looking. Uh, the glass, the alcohol, the mold, the UV lights um, will cost you probably like 80 maybe $90. And once you have that, you can do more and more and more. Uh, you don't even need the UV light that I'm using. You can use a UV flashlight. They have some little kits on eBay as well that you can get that come with a UV flashlight. Um, I don't trust those as much. Uh, I normally prefer to have uh, the salon quality one. It's going to clean my glass again. It looked like there uh, had been a little bit of uh, dust on there, a couple specks. So it's going to clean it up and make sure it's nice and clean and streak free. Or not streak free, but dirt free. Next step is to go ahead and apply the liquid optical clear adhesive, or LOCA. I'm using this black, uh, and it's basically black and orange. You're going to put it in a Y or an X shape, a long, elongated X shape on the glass. Uh, people say that I use too much, um, but I find it easier to clean up the residual at the end than um, overuse. If it doesn't have a light box on the back, you can do that. If it has a light box on the back, like your iPhones, your, your HTC phones, or your Nexus phone, it's a little bit more difficult to do uh, this particular method. But the goal is is to make sure that no bubbles appear or form. Now I use APS glue. You can find it on um, eBay. You'll see it's got kind of a white and green label, black tube with orange plunger and, and basically t front cap cover. Um, I'll try to throw a, a link in the description of the video so if you're interested in kind of looking up that glue as well. So I'm just going to let the glue kind of set out a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my uh, pry tool to help us lever the screen down nice and slow onto the LCD. I've learned this as a, a good method to making it happen. Um, you don't want to go too fast. So I'm going to take my piece of glass. I'm going to put 
Got a little speck of dust on there again, dang it. Let me just clean that off here real fast. All right, you put the make sure you put this down the correct direction. Um, the LCD uh, cable will need to go on the right side of the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and gently lie this down. Let the glue hit the bottom portion of the glass. Take it nice and slow. Now, if you get a bubble at the very beginning, uh, it's sometimes easier to just go ahead and clean the glue off of the screen here and try again. Or pop the bubble. If it happens later, um, you can squeeze them out uh, with your fingers as well. Let's try this again, just nice and slow to lie this down. You want to take your time. If you lay it down too fast, that's when you get bubbles into the glue. So I'm using my spudger to hold the right side up, and my fingers, I'm putting pressure to make sure the glue stays in the mold on the opposite side. Once my spudger hits the mold, that'll keep the glass lifted off of it. You can see uh, where my left hand is at. The, glow, the glue is slightly, slowly moving up the screen. You can see it's starting to adhere. It'll change color from kind of that blue to that darker black color. It's going nice and slow. Use your finger to give pressure against the spudger. The really tricky part is right at the very end. Um, you want to make sure that you keep it nice and slow at the end as well. You don't want one side or one edge to touch before the other edge. Um, then you'll get a, a bubble in the middle, which are the hardest ones to remove. So this process is about patience and a steady hand. Normally once you get to, uh, to about this point, you can almost just remove your spudger and everything will be just fine. Um, and again, just taking your time with it. All right. We're going to let it set for just a few seconds, um, kind of let the glue work its way down. The pressure of the glass onto the glue will start to uh, make it seep out into the edges and the sides of the phone. can give it a little bit of a push along. I'm not putting a lot of force on the screen. I'm just basically just touching it slightly, moving it um, a little tiny bit. Let's see if we can't get this, the edges to start out for us a little bit. Normally one of the hardest parts is right in the middle or the fatter part of the phone um, where the thinnest part of the glue's at um, in the middle of the X can be a little tricky. see any bubbles you can see that I'm moving my finger down the LCD and that is to see if there's any bubbles in there if you need to remove them if you notice that some of the glue isn't hitting the corners of the glass this is a good method as well basically pull the glue from the middle of the phone towards the outside edges of the device it's going nice and slow with my finger 
and making sure all of the glue has reached all of the corners. You don't want to see any pull away. The corners being a little bit tricky, you can see that there's not a ton of glue up there. You can see that there's a little bit lighter portion just in the upper corner there. And I'm trying to pull glue and you can see it's slowly going away. So just taking my time as I push the glue in that direction. If need be, you can go ahead and take your finger and press it um, against the back of the LCD. Then onto the phone as well. Um, that'll help the glue spread that direction. Once it normally uh, gets set up and it kind of covers all portions of the, the glass and the LCD, it normally will stay there. Go ahead and turn my UV light on. I'm just using a, it's called a, it's for gel nails in a salon. Uh, it's got a lot of UV bulbs in it. It's actually got four separate UV bulbs in it. Uh, so it cures pretty quickly and evenly as well. So just double checking the screen, make sure there's no bubbles or any dust under there before I start to UV glue it. And once you, you glue it down, it's kind of a one-shot deal. Um, it's really hard to remove. It's actually harder to remove than the initial uh, loca. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my device underneath it here. It doesn't take a long time to get set up. So I'm going to cure it for a second. Sometimes I put my finger just right in the middle for a few seconds to make sure that all of the glue um, stays where it's supposed to be. It's going to pull it out and take a quick look at it, make sure that no glue is moved from the edges. It's going to go ahead and flip it around. I'm a little bit worried about these bottom corners here, so I'm just going to push them down just a few seconds while I put it in there. We'll go ahead and slide the device all the way in. Now a good way to test whether or not it's pretty set up is by kind of pressing on the back of the LCD. Uh, you'll see that the glue that's around the edges of the mold will actually stick your phone into the mold. You'll have to kind of cut it out and then do a little bit of cleanup on the actual device. It's going to put it in the opposite direction, make sure that the top corners get uh, the same length and time of treatment. Alright, I'm just going to kind of push from behind. I'm being very gentle when we're doing this. Now you can see that there's a lot of excess glue around the back side of the device here. Um, and this is really why I don't like to use the frame when I'm doing this and this is why I remove the LCD. All of that glue would be the, uh, on the inside of your device and it doesn't set up unless it hits UV light. And that stuff's never going to hit ultraviolet light. It's never going to see daylight. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol um, and I'm just going to run down the corners with this rag here. I'm going to clean it up as much as I can, um, getting as much of the glue out. I'll take it into, press it into a little corner and I'll try to go underneath the screen just a little bit. You want to make sure your screen is nice and set up uh, before you're doing this. Um, <clears throat> but the goal is, is that sometimes the loca will actually go underneath the edges of the screen where um, the UV light doesn't hit it and later in the device's life it'll leak out. Um, you don't want that to happen because if it hits the circuits on the back of the LCD cable there, it could short out your touch functions and your device may stop working, uh, which is one of the risks you take when you're doing a, a, a liquid optical clear adhesive repair. So you want to be diligent in making sure that you clean this off. And it's another one of the issues that may come uh, with doing this inside of the phone. Just taking my time to clean it off. You can see that I did use a little bit of duct tape to hold the cable down. The cable side of the device goes down towards the home button area. So make sure that you put your glass on correctly uh, inside the mold. It's going to clean up the front here real fast. We did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. Just double checking to see if there's anything on the back that I've missed. Try just to clean up all of the corners, make sure we get all the glue out as much as we possibly can. The 
This glue almost acts like an oil. So it's a little bit more viscous and it doesn't leak out um, immediately. I'm just going to take my pry tool here and just see if there's any glue underneath it that I can get a little bit more out with. Just use my fingernail to kind of press underneath the screen a little bit. Now what I like to do is once I've done that, I've cleaned everything up, everything's looking good, I'll throw it back under the UV light, let it cure for a little while longer. The goal is, is that we get all of the glue to cure evenly. Normally the way that the factory does the clear adhesive is they use um, basically a, a film of it, um, and then they put it into a vacuum chamber and suck all the air out and all the bubbles and that's how it gets airtight. Um, so the local glue is, is kind of the, uh, what's called the poor man's fix. If you want to get a vacuum chamber and do that with um, the laminate, that stuff's like, a, I think the vacuum chamber itself is like 1300 bucks. Um, so unless you're a phone repair shop, it's uh, more feasible to do it this way if you're just do a, a do-it-yourself or like myself. I'm going to go ahead and just peel back the tape here real fast. We're going to go ahead and just test the display, make sure it still functions before I go too much further in my repair. And I'm sure you guys want to see that as well, that I didn't uh, mess this up during the whole process. Just going to go ahead and attach it. Go ahead and power it on. Unless it's dead, I may have to attach a charging cable here real quick. So I'm gonna plug it in. Turn off my UV light here. So we definitely got the battery uh, icon there for a second. So the screen is functional. There we go. Got our LCD coming on. We'll let it boot up here for a second and we'll try to test the uh, touch function. Um, looks like the battery is really dead. Let's see if I can't use something a little bit better to get the power button here. Perfect. All right, we've got uh, nice clarity here. Everything's looking nice. A few more seconds to turn on. We'll test the touch function. If you guys found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. If you uh, want to subscribe to me, see any of the future stuff, I do a lot of phones. Um, I have like 90 plus videos out on YouTube now. Um, so if you need help, uh, hit me up in the comments. be more than happy to write back to you if I can. Uh, I can't answer every single question. Uh, I do have a day job, but I'll, I'll do my best to reach out to you. As always, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you want to watch the reassembly video of the device, it'll be down in the description. Uh, and I'll try to throw the tools that I use down in the description as well. Just touching all the corners of the touchscreen to make sure everything's functioning properly. Sometimes um, the corners of the touchscreen don't work like you want them to, so just double checking everything to make sure it's going to function properly for us. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.